Good evening, gentlemen. Our next briefing is on item number RPC-075, Object Class, Alpha. Containment Protocols, RPC-0751 and RPC-0752 are to be stored in separate standard containment lockers at site f All instances of RPC-0753 are to be stored in a high security chemical cabinet with at least one security guard present at all times. Previous containment protocols stated that access to RPC-075 for testing required level two clearance or higher. After incident 0752, containment protocols were revised and access to RPC-075 now requires the approval of at least two level four personnel. Furthermore, in the event that RPC-075 goes missing, site is to be evacuated. Description RPC-075 is a SodaStream brand water carbonator set. RPC-0751 designates the device itself. RPC-0752 designates the matching glass bottle. RPC-0753 designates the fluid produced after extensive use of RPC-075. RPC-0751 and RPC-0752 are effectively impervious to all forms of damage tested. All attempts to access RPC-0751's gas canister have failed. The panel allowing access to it appears to be permanently bonded to RPC-0751. RPC-075's anomalous effects manifest when RPC-0751 is used in conjunction with RPC-0752 to carbonate water. RPC-075 functions identically to a standard SodaStream brand water carbonator until 30 seconds of continuous activation. Past 30 seconds of continuous activation, the concentration of CO2 within the water increases exponentially. By one minute of continuous activation, approximately 20% of the water has been turned to carbonic acid. By two minutes of continuous activation, 99.9% .9 of the water has been turned into carbonic acid. By three minutes of continuous activation, the water has turned into RPC-0753. At this stage, it has a pH level comparable to fluorosulfuric acid. Testing has shown that extended use of RPC-075 increases the volatility of RPC-0753 in addition to lowering its pH. RPC-075 was discovered after reports of a chemical spill in England. RPC-075 was found to have been used at a party to make drinks. All attendees were found to have severe internal injuries. Class A amnestics were administered to those remaining, and the event was written up as a terrorist attack. Begin Incident Log Incident 0751 on June 2nd, researcher Miller accidentally consumed a sample of RPC-0753 while testing its pH. His body was found 30 minutes later after a report of a hole forming in the roof of the next floor down. Forensic evidence showed that just over half his body had been dissolved. Incident 0752 On December 14th, RPC-075 was used continuously for 30 minutes to test effects of extended usage. Upon RPC-0752's removal from RPC-0751, the RPC-0753 exploded, destroying approximately 6% of site RPC-075 was found unharmed in the epicenter of the explosion. Containment protocols were updated by order of the board. And that concludes our documentation for today. Pop quiz. Can anyone tell me what went wrong at incident 0752? Anyone? Yes. Yes, we are all aware that it exploded and damaged the site. Thank you for your very astute observation. Can anyone more insightful tell me what really went wrong? Yes, go ahead. Exactly, thank you. Jumping from 3 minutes to 30 minutes of activation time on an anomaly whose effects are known to increase exponentially 
is indeed idiotic. I know the objects we contain and study are very interesting, and it can be tempting to jump in and see what they're really capable of, but we simply cannot afford to do this wrong. Always take your time and think things through before beginning testing. And don't be afraid to speak up if you believe a superior is making a mistake. Your family will thank you. That will be all for today, gentlemen. Have a good evening, and I will see you all in the morning.